Hi Aquarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and of course also on my website which is up and running now. So if you click on this little white dot here or there, um, then you it, will, you it will take you straight to the website. There will be a couple of new postings this coming week and I'm busy making the romance um, videos for March. So this is yours. This is your romance reading for March. And I'm using the Angel Romance Oracle deck. I'm using the Titanium um, Lenamon cards. And I'm using the Answer of the Angels, Archangel Michael cards. Where I'll go into a little bit. And the Angel, um, Angel Feather Oracle deck. And the Angel Reading deck. I love to work with my angels and like my cyber angels, I love angels and I love you too. If you're not a cyber angel yet, then please join us in the live sessions, new viewers. And you, of course, you're all welcome to the channel. And this is my way of showing thanks and gratitude for your support, because without you, this channel wouldn't be what it is. And here we go. And for the first um, week we've got a honeymoon enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together it could be a honeymoon you might be getting married and you might be going on a honeymoon in the first week or you might be just taking a little short trip away with your loved one and now we're going to add the confirmation card and you've got the cross. Have faith. Have faith. Don't be in your head. Don't be depressed. The cross is also like a crossroads. You have choices or decisions to make. So have faith that you make the right decision. And if you do travel, then make sure that you check the itinerary so that nothing, that you, you don't have to make uh, optional or different choices if some if there is a delay for example but I think you might be making a choice or um, a decision as to where you're going are you going somewhere with water are you going to a city are you going uh, to Italy or Venice Ooh, how romantic well, if we, we can't all cross the big ocean, so some of you might just go to a city where there is water and go romantically rowing or sailing together. Ooh, that's even nicer. I used to have a sailing boat. A lot of hard work, but it was a lot of fun. And especially in March, because in March I used to sand her down and do her up for the next season. And that was always a challenge. I did that in my own and I loved it. Okay, mm. then we go on to the second week, my darling. And, and you've got the playfulness card. Yes, you will be playing with your partner um, in lots of ways. Whether it's in uh, sailing and it's hard work, that is work and play. But don't work all the time. It makes Jack a dull boy, as they say in England. Work, work, work makes Jack a dull boy. So enjoy each other's company and be playful. Let your inner child come out. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yes, and tell him or her to be more playful as well. Let the innocence and the inner child come out. Then we have the coffin. There is a transformation in the relationship. Perhaps you're just going out and perhaps you're getting engaged. That's the new level or the transformation beautiful as the coffin is not death but a new start it, it means transformation perhaps you're 
um, a relationship will go up a level. It doesn't matter whether you've been together for 10 or 20 years. I know people that have been together for 25 years and they get married and they live happily ever after, even after 34 years. It's a magical relationship. That's when, when what I call true love. Now in the third week, we've got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment. If you are not joined up, then this is saying, be attractive. Enjoy the moments that you have when you're on your own, because when you are matching up, then you'll have, you're stuck with each other most of the time. And you are, if you are attractive and if you do take care of yourself and you do enjoy the moments, doesn't matter which moments, usually the good ones, of course, um, then you are shining because if you stay calm and collect or take a step back and regroup and then come back gently and calmly, you will shine and you'll be attractive. I know that not all of us are uh, 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 matched up, but um, there will be somebody coming in Aquarius. Because look, your boat is coming in. I was talking about a sailing boat. Boom, he's here. And I didn't sort out the cards. I put them down face down. So I didn't know the boat was there. So your boat is coming in. You might be traveling. You might be going on holiday. Wow. And this is another card saying that you are taking a short break or going on holiday. Or perhaps you are meeting somebody on holiday. That could be uh, everlasting love. Ooh, you are being attractive. You are attracting attention. That is definitely the, um, the statement here either in the first week or the second week, but also in the third week. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So manifest. And if you find it hard to manifest or if you don't know how to manifest, then load down pictures from internet or from old uh, magazines, stick them on the fridge or on a cardboard and place that cardboard vision board, as they call it, somewhere in your bedroom so, so that you can see it at night before you go to bed and say, this is what I want. Or and early in the morning, just let the angels and the universe know what type of partner you would like. Dark hair, blonde hair, blue eyes, just you want to get married, cut out a, a, a wedding dress, wedding bands. What kind of type of house do you want? Do you want a swimming pool? Do you want a, an apartment? Uh, do you want two houses, one in a different country so that you can go there together? Do you want a boat? Then stick that on your visionary board and let the universe know, but be careful what you wish for. Again, we've got the child here to confirm, uh, let your inner child come out. The child means in Lenamon that you might be pregnant or you might be wishing to have a child. So perhaps you will be finding out if you are matched up uh, in the fourth week of March, that you're pregnant. Let your inner child out and be playful. Don't be too serious. There might be, there will be new beginnings, perhaps a new love, perhaps a next level. And you have the transformation card. So it, I think for most of you, it will be a next level up. Getting closer together. It might also be a new study, something new, a new job that will make the relationship um, bond even stronger as then you can afford your boat or your house or that uh, ex expensive holiday to Venice if you're living in another country. Now, the answer of the angels 
um, it is saying opportunity. So there will be opportunities. So long you are playful. So long you let your inner child come out. Not to be so serious. That new beginning will come. Or that child, if you wish. But remember, the other half has to wish it too. When you stand together, you stand strong. That is solidarity. Then we have the guidance card from Archangel Michael. And you have divine guidance. Golden tongued wisdom. What does golden tongued wisdom mean? It means it's a bit like the, when I have the five of swords, um, then I always warn. Um, be careful what you do. Be careful how you say it. Intonation and what you say. Sometimes it's better to stay tongue-tied. So use your wisdom. When you say something, think before you speak. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key brings you guidance, delivered incidentally by an other. So you could be getting also messages through someone else. If you're not partnered up and you are wishing to be partnered up, then somebody might all of a sudden say, Ooh, I heard such and such and such. They fancy you. Boom. It's in. <laughs> you know about it. Don't always listen to gossip, but this is nice gossip. So talk to them about it. Where did you get from? How do you know about that? What can I do about it if that is what you wish? This sacred key is delivered to you by Archangel Michael and is a powerful blessing of synchronic synchronistic guidance. Archangel Michael affirms that spiritual guidance can arrive even in mundane events via casual in innocent remarks. Golden tongued wisdom describes an incident in which you find a message or a specific spiritual meaning or an answer to a prayer triggered by something or someone else else says. Often the statement is not even directed at you. You may overhear two people talking whilst chopping here, whilst chopping, hear the words on the TV or in a song or read the words on a sign or in a book. Golden words are delivered just as you are pondering something and they trigger something deep within your soul. The golden tongued wisdom can also be delivered from someone you know. And in this case, they will say something out of the blue, often totally unaware of what they have said why is it they have said it, or its impact? This is often the case where children deliver angels' messages out of the mouths of babes. The energy of this key is so powerful, Archangel Michael calls it as the golden acumen. This is the key with love and gratitude. Hold it next to your heart and know that it is a gift and that it is delivered to you. And so it is, out the mouth of babes. And the babe is in your reading. So it might be a child that gives you a message. Now we're going on to the angel fellow. And you have mauve. And you have the beautiful color mauve. So you can eat purple grapes. You can eat purple fruit, drink purple food. And it says courage of faith. You can meditate on this color. You can wear this color. 
it does look dashing on some people. And I like men that dare to wear mauve or pink. The angels are present and call upon you to be courageous. Draw on and trust in your deep faith. Boom! The cross. Spiritual beliefs and the angels to assist you at this time. So draw on your faith and trust that everything will, will come to you. The affirmation that you can also use is, I'm courageous. I have deep faith and the support of angels at all times. Other symbols for the most angel feather is cooperation, spiritual enlightenment, religious faith, modesty, self-confidence, psychic ability and gifts. So listen to your intuition and your new ideas that come into you just like that. The stones that you can wear is lipidolite and kunzite. So if you get these stones in the health store or the stone store, I'm saying the health store because you can buy these um, healing stones at the health store, and then go for lepidolite and kunzite. So K-U-N-Z-I-T-E, kunzite. And the angels associated with this card is... Angel Servil, Angel of Golden Light, gives courage. And Angel Makildamalsedal, Angel of Courage and Protection. And Angel Uzil, Angel of Faith, Mother's Angel. And the last card is, and I did see this one uh, when I was sitting here. And before I started, I saw the angel of parking. Now, I had to laugh because the angels, they have a sense of humour. Although this picture is not very nice because you've got a car crashing into another car. And I, I just got a message from a couple of angels. They were giggling and they said, they showed me a picture or rather like a video in my mind and you two it could, it, I, it's a couple per, uh, it's a couple or it's a couple of couples um, I saw a couple I don't know to who this resonates but I saw a couple they come up the drive um, in the parking lot um, on, it's on an open ground and it's square and the shop is also square on the outside and uh, you're driving up the parking avenue along uh, like here like in the, all the cars are parked and this is the avenue and you're looking for a space and somebody loses his temper so the golden tongue wow it's just happening now so keep quiet if somebody's losing your temper don't give them an, any ammunition to start a quarrel okay so some, I see a couple and one loses it, their mind, uh, their patience, and they start swearing. And they say, like S, the S word, and worse. And then you just keep calm, just keep calm. You are going to show this person how together and balanced you are, and that you have courage and faith. These two cards are highlighted by this card. So, there will be an opportunity that you might be sitting in a car with somebody and they start swearing, or you might get a message. Wow, this is crazy. Uh, thank you, angels. I know. Anyway, it's magic reading in itself and all together. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me the uh, thumbs up and thank you for sharing that and leaving a reaction. I think you're awesome. And you are also a big crowd that follows me and do leave reactions behind. Thank you. I love you all. Take care and I hope to see you in the life. And have a wonderful month and I 
hope you get your wish. Ciao, ciao. Take care.